Hey everybody, how you doing? And uh, this is going to be a quick video. So on the Glock 43X MOS and I have a Shield Arms. This is the F15 and this is the Gen 3. And the one thing I found about the Gen 3 is that these dimples that they put on the back, they are supposed to actually secure, you know, when you put it in the magwell, it's supposed to be really tight. Well, I have another video that I'll put up, but I wanted to get this one out because I didn't want people to start throwing away their Gen 3 mags because there's a fix to it. And the fix is actually taking uh, Loctite, uh, the super glue, mixing it with bacon, or excuse me, yeah, bacon soda. And you can find plenty of videos out there on YouTube, but it's basically a very secure weld. And then, um, and I did that on the bottom two little dimples here on my mag and when i put it into my mag it fits there is no movement whatsoever it's very very tight and there was an issue um, that i do demonstrate in my other video when you when the round comes in this is a safe weapon by the way okay so when you when i start pushing the round forward it just it used to catch on the front lip of, and you know, let me show you here. This is the um, original Gen 3, um, and I didn't do anything to this mag. And that lip right there um, is is catching the neck on the brass right there between the bullet and the casing when it comes forward. And I don't know if I can demonstrate it here. Yeah, right there. So it does catch and actually if you have more rounds in your magazine, it's going to um, put pressure on these rounds up in here, but the, all the force is put on this round here on the top. And then what happens is it pushes the angle down and then it, it catches on this lip right there. And so what I did was two things. So, so the fix is two things. Just take, you know, you're going to void the warranty, but instead of throwing these away, all you have to do is just take a file and bevel the inside of this like at a 45 degree and then and then uh, take some very uh, fine sandpaper and sandpaper that down. And then that's exactly what I did with this mag right here. And I'm going to take it to the range tomorrow. And all I did was I extended... These little dimples right here um, on this magazine, I just did a little weld right here and a little weld right there. And what I did is I just took a little uh, grommets and I got them from Home Depot. And then I put them on here and then I put super glue in the middle and then I put baking soda and then I put super glue again and then baking soda. And then all I do is take a straight edge, cut the rubber off, and then I have a very fine file set um, this little husky set that I have and I took that and then filed it down to where the fit was just about perfect and that that does not go anywhere you're gonna have to pull it out but over time what's gonna happen is this going in and out is gonna wear down a little bit on this this right here you can file this down even further but right now um, I can take every one of these rounds that are in here and I can just slide them forward and they just come busting off just like the, the OEM magazine. So that's the fix to the issue. Has nothing to do with the spring. Some people said it, you know, was the spring catching in there. And I, I've spent about a week trying to diagnose these magazines. And so all you got to do is just take a fine file, bevel this down a little bit and take it down also just probably about a millimeter and then the other thing you just leave everything else the same and then do put a couple of little uh crazy glue and baking soda right there make your own little dowels you know your own little protrusions right here and extend it up a just a little bit more than these guys right here because again i made a video and if i put this magazine in you could literally see daylight back in here so I hope that helps and uh, like and subscribe if uh, this was any benefit to you. Thank you.